Hi everybody, my name is Connor McDonald. Follow me on Twitter for information about SQL and analytics as per this particular video series. And this is the KISS principle, keeping it simple with SQL with a focus on analytics. These are short two minute sessions really about solving real problems. We're trying to give you examples and solutions rather than just focusing on the syntax. In this session, we're gonna look at dealing with nulls and how it impacts the use within analytics. A quick 10 second recap. So far, we've still just touched the surface. We've only looked at some functions. We haven't looked at partitioning and window in clauses, and we're using sorting when it pertains to those functions. We've covered the following six functions in the previous videos. Today, we're gonna to use those functions to meet a new requirement. And the requirement is, rank the size of the moons of the planets Mars, Venus, Pluto, Mercury, and Neptune. And of course, because it came from your manager, we need that information ASAP. A quick digression. When it comes to analytics and you start being given these questions, precision is incredibly important. So when you get given these questions, perhaps the first thing you'll be doing is going back to the person that asked the question and trying to get a more accurate definition. When they say rank, do they really mean row number or ranking or dense rank? Is it smallest to largest? Is it largest to smallest? We'll assume for this demo, row number and largest to smallest. When they say size, well, do they mean weight? Do they mean radius, etc.? We're going to assume radius. But this is an example of where you're going to need to occasionally go back to the user to get more precision in the, in the definition. Here's our data model. We have planets, all the planets of the solar system, and each of those planets may have zero or more moons. So here's our analytic function, as we've seen in the past, to order them. We're using order by radius descending to get largest to smallest. And here's our result. And as we can see, we have our size rank down the right hand side. But discerning viewers will have noticed a bit of a problem. If we focus on the result set, we can see that the top two ranked moons actually aren't present at all. We can see that Venus and Mercury have been ranked one and two. The reason they're there is because they actually have no moons and the outer join has brought them out with a moon of null. And one thing we see in analytics now is that nulls are ranked first. Now we solve that using the same syntax as we'd use with normal order by. What we do is we have the nulls first and nulls last option. So let's rerun our query now. And as you can see, by adding order by radius nulls last, we've solved the problem. We have the more intuitive answer that Neptune's big moon Triton with a radius of 1353 is the one that gets ranked first. Our two planets that don't have any moons, Mercury and Venus, have actually come out last, which is probably what we were after. Another potential ambiguity, when it comes to nulls, we've all been taught over many, many years that null is special in the sense that it never equals anything. If we try to a query where null equals null, we don't get any hits. But if we try to a query where null doesn't equal null, we also get no hits. Null doesn't equal or not equal anything. However, in analytics, ranking is a special case. All values of null are ranked equally. So let's change our query. Instead of going for row number, we'll use rank and rerun our query. Now you can see that when we had some nulls in the result set, they are given the equivalent rank, in this case a rank of one. So nulls are ranked the same. So nulls are ranked equally when it comes to analytics. That does not mean that null equals null, but they are ranked equally. You can run these scripts by yourself by clicking on the live SQL demo links below. A quick wrap up now. Don't forget about nulls. As always, whether it's analytics or anything to do with a relational database, nulls have to be treated with some care. In our next session, we'll talk about applying predicates with analytics. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to keep it simple with SQL. And we'll see you all again soon.